of our dedicated numbers today. Away from matters graft, for a long time, people living near forested lands, notably farmers, have been regarded as a danger to the forest through an afforestation system known as Spellis. Farmers living around the Geta Forest section of the Greater Badeas have regrown the tree cover, but now they fear the system might be phased out. Mark Namaswa has more from the Abadeas. The lush farmlands and forests welcome you to Geta Forest, part of the Greater Abadeas Forest in Kipipiri, Nyandarwa County. Adjacent to the forest, what appears to be farms with Irish potato crop, Ruth Njoki farms here. She is among a number of local residents allowed through the Pelis system to farm here, but at the same time grow trees. Pelis stands for Plantation Establishment and Livelihood Improvement Scheme. At the moment, the Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, is spearheading the program. Jamlik Masharia chairs a community forest association that oversees the Pelis system in the area. Jamlik has also been allocated a piece of land where he has established a thriving snow peas plantation. But these locals do not own the land. They are simply beneficiaries of the Pelis system. Initially in this country we had something which was called a shamba system. And uh, it was not structured and uh, people cultivated in that forest and uh, planted trees. Uh, but there were no rules. But now there is a tussle. One source says that there is no difference between Pelis and the outlawed Shamba system that opened up forests to abuse by members of the public. A task force reporting to the forest management and logging activities in Kenya in early 2018 faulted Pelis for leading to the establishment of low standard forest plantations and illegal conversion of indigenous forests into plantations. But those rooting for Pelis insist that pitfalls identified in the Shamba system have been adequately addressed. One of the rules is that they'll be there for uh, a period of three years. The trees will grow much faster. They apply farmyard manure to the crops that they plant there and the trees benefit too. Several methods have been tried and suggested to increase tree cover, but for now, the main worry is if the system is halted by the government. The most likely thing that is going to happen is that probably people will go back to the forest. The Abadeas is one of Kenya's most important water towers. Its importance more evident now with climate change being blamed for dwindling rains and reduced farm output. Kenya continues to be at crossroads between human development as well as afforestation, while the whole nation gears towards raising at least 10% minimum forest cover. Mark Namaswa, KTN News, Geta Area, Kipipiri Constituency, Nyandarwa County. Mark, thank you for that report. That brings us to our fast break here on KTN Primetime News. Remember, when we come back, our senior political affairs reporter, Duncan Heimber, brings us the special report, the cast of the deputy, the first part of it. And he will be telling us, taking us through the journey of deputy president and how they have been trying to get to